I'm Hazel, and today I'm going to be giving you a little tour of my streaming slash YouTubing space. Come on in. So the first thing to see here is my assistant. This is Andrew here on the floor. Uh, he is a doorstop. He used to have both hands on his prize, but he's learned to let go a little bit. Uh, Andrew is there so that if I have the window open and the, uh, the wind slams the door closed, then he stops me from getting spooked. I pretend it's for the cat, but it's really for me. Although he is a little bit top heavy, he tends to fall on his face and occasionally that does mean that it's, you know, more of a head and door frame situation, but he's a uh, good strong worker, shows up on time every day. And you know, not everybody likes Mondays. So starting over here, this is my calendar. I went through a phase where I was writing down every video that I wanted to do on it and then I had like little star stickers and I had like appointments and I had color coding and that was one of my many uh, time management systems that kind of petered down over time. So right now I have two things on it. There's the Shadowlands news stream that the devs are doing on Tuesday and then we have a baking stream later in the month and that's all I'm up to, at least on paper. <laughs> scooching over a little bit and you'll see that we have a mysterious door here and I was really on the fence about whether or not to show you this. Uh, this is where I keep stuff. So come along inside. <laughs> so I'm not gonna fit in the shop, but that's fine. You don't need me. Let's turn a little bit of the light. So on the left hand side here, uh, down there, there's my glam station. I put on makeup before almost every stream I do and I do it on the floor of my closet. Um, the light's not good in here. This mirror has like a little light on it. Um, that you can like activate when you press a button, but I left it on overnight once and now it doesn't work anymore And I'm too lazy to get new batteries because they're really weird ones. So um, We have some fish equipment over here to maintain the aquarium that we have in here. This is my proudest um, Organizational achievement and it does look like trash. Yes, you are right <laughs> if it makes you feel any better I used to store all of this stuff in a suitcase in a big 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 knot so I have a variety of cables and I can't get rid of any of them because I always need something. So you got like your HDMI, you got your mini USB, your micro USB drives, cable ties. You got like audio adapters. We have some miscellaneous stuff from when we built the computer. I have some unopened thermal paste over there. So just like extra stuff on top is where I keep the battery store along with some compressed air and WD-40, always good. Um, everything in my life takes batteries. So just all the charges kind of live up here. And then I bring those out to charge them as needed because I found if I left them all by the power, it just got too messy. Uh, we got some tools for when I need to do very important tooling. Uh, let's see, we got some really messy extra storage. Don't worry about that. Uh, this shelf is the thing that I was going to make a video on and maybe still will, but it's been a couple of years, so maybe it's time to give up. Um, I have some gamer glasses. I was at one point going to do a, a video on gamer glasses, but then I got real glasses and I'm not sure if it's... Uh, valid anymore. Uh, this over here, this is my camera shelf. This is where I keep um, tripod stabilizers. I've got like an extra mic pack. Um, half the stuff is gone from here right now because I'm using it for this video. Uh, this is my baking stream box. It is an old Amazon box where I keep like the apron, um, the extra tripod. I keep like the extra cables that I use for setting up the baking stream. Uh, the mic pack usually goes in there, but I'm wearing that today. Uh, extra lighting equipment and stuff. Um, we have some extra papers. There's like tax stuff in there, so we're gonna leave pretty fast. But then, um, you know, you also got some cookbooks over there too. We use those for the baking streams now and then, so it's not, it's not a total mess. And leaving the closet, we can scooch out back to the part that you might have seen before. Now I'm in frame. This is my printer tower. It's not very, um, good. It's a very cheap shelving unit with like these cloth basket shelves, but you know, it keeps the printer off the floor where it used to live. And this little thing is actually surprisingly good and has caused me relatively few problems given that it's a printer. I use this to make the little art prints that I mail out to my legendary patrons every month. And then through here, we have supplies for that. So you've got like your, uh, your printer ink. Um, at one point I was using a paper cutter. You've got uh, rulers and markers and knives and stamps and uh, labels and all that good stuff. And when the printer is like printing and you know how they vibrate a little bit, the whole thing just goes here. And then of course we have the backdrop that you see behind my videos. Uh, the posters, people ask about these all the time. Um, the truth is these are canvas wall hangs. I bought them from the Blizzard gear store in their spring clear out sale like years ago. There's an unboxing video somewhere. And uh, they are lovely and they don't sell them anymore. They do have new canvases available. I have seen them selling Sylvanas ones and Anduin ones. 
Um, they're not cheap though, it's not just a poster, it's canvas over wood, which costs them probably $7 more, but they're gonna charge you $130 for it. Down here we have the couch, I am quite proud of this, you see the little light strip on the back there, that is like a $10 kind of, you put them in PC cases, but you can also put them anywhere you want. Um, little LED strip. You can change the light color of those, and I used to do that more often. I used to like match it to my hair or something silly, but um, I discovered that when you change the light color of it, I also had to double check and adjust my camera's refresh rate because otherwise you would get this strobing that looked really obnoxious on video. So now it's just purple and I like that well enough, so we leave it there. Um, the cushions are, let's see, BlizzCon merch, BlizzCon merch, BlizzCon merch, BlizzCon merch. Uh, my merch and then my merch that's no longer available. That was the 100k celebration pillow So those all live here the couch itself was from Amazon and uh, don't get it. It sucks It hurts a lot We used to have this in our living room and it was our like regular couch and we would only ever watch shows that were like 30 minutes or less because uh, It you know hurts your butt after a while so over here, this is the plushy shelf, and it, like the couch, is pretty much at capacity. They don't make as many plushies as they used to anymore, which is fine by me because I'm out of room. So this is the office aquarium. Right now, it is a five-gallon planted tank with plants but no fish, although I do have a lovely community of uh, pond snails in there for now. Um, this is kind of an experiment. I've never done a tank like this before. It's got a soil bottom and then basically like a lot of plants. Um, we've got the wisteria growing immersed at the back. I just gave it a haircut yesterday and it's been doing pretty good so far. I figure one day I may eventually add fish, but it's kind of a science experiment, so I'm not in a big hurry to add any uh, more variables to it for the moment. And then that's just my vlog camera right there. Um, it's only, I know it looks like I'm showing off, but I just, it took me forever to balance it. I don't want to take it off until I've had a chance to get some uh, B-roll. Uh, we've got pet bed there. That is where the cat and or the dog will sometimes sleep on stream. I've got a little webcam I could drag over there, but we also have a duplicate of that bed in our living room where I do the same thing. And this brings us to the streaming setup. And you know what? It doesn't look too bad. I mean, okay, it looks like a mess. Where to start? Um, this is my chair. I purchased this myself. And actually, that's a good point to make. Many streamers have things sent to them by friendly companies that are looking for more exposure for their products. And I'm not against such a practice. However, um, I think I bought all of this. Yeah, every single thing here I bought myself of my own accord, which means that I don't have to be nice about it. Uh, so the chair, this chair is very expensive and the chair is very nice. It was an investment, it was a splurge, and it was worth it to me because I spend so much time sitting down here. Um, it's got great back support when you don't have a mic pack on your butt. These are the leggings that I've been keeping near my desk lately. Um, I've been trying to break a habit where I like cross and double cross my legs and like squeeze them and lean on them and like <laughs> snap them. So instead what I've been doing lately, which is extremely cool, is I just tie these over each knee kind of like I'm strapping myself in for battle at the desk, and then whenever I go to cross my legs, I notice and I stop. So um, that's why I have extra clothes in here, otherwise I probably wouldn't. So here's the monitor setup. We have 4K 27 inch monitor, identical 4K 27 inch monitor. Over on that side, we have the 1080p vertical 24 inch monitor, something like that. That one's a cheaper one. I just really like having one vertical monitor for stream chat. This here is how I set it up for streaming. So I have OBS at the top. I have my chat over here. Over here, I have my activity feed so I can see subs and whatnot. And then right on the left of it is my camera so that when I'm looking at chat, I'm not exactly looking into the camera, but at least it's not like six feet to the right. Uh, main monitor is where I have games or editing. And then on the left monitor is where I would look things up or watch tutorials. Or if I'm editing, I will spread out all of my footage in like a big messy pile on the left monitor so I can pick through it like a child who's scrapbooking. So if I was to take you kind of closer to behind the desk, I have these little corner shelf towers back here. Um, they look nicer on camera than they do in real life. I don't know what's up with that. I guess I did clean. <laughs> so I have the well plushies on top because those shelves don't really get enough sunlight for plants. And then on the bottom shelves, I have these little short plants. And then I have mounted LED puck lights, and mounted is a fancy word for stuck on with adhesive, to the bottom of these, again, very, very cheap shelves. But it means that I have some plants to kind of sort of look at. They're mostly blocked by my monitors, but I have a couple of plants that I can see from my desk because I went through a phase where I was like, you know what? You guys have a background. I want a background too. So that's what that's all about. What else is going on on my desk? Actually, under it, let's take a look at the cable management of Shame. So there is um, the big thing that is a gas pedal so that I can do more damage in raids. Real talk though, that is a foot rest. It is tiltable. So you can like fidget with your feet. You can change the angle your feet rest at. To be honest, I don't use it. I thought it would help me. It does not. 
but it's like big and heavy, so I just kind of leave it down there. Um, this is my cable management. You have absolutely seen better in your life, but I bet you you also seen worse. Um, you've got like a little audio mixer thing and you know, the, the rear end of my computer. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to expose you like this, but basically that's the gist. I have some tubing. Okay, no, no, it looks pretty bad. The problem is I need to leave a lot of slack because I move stuff around all the time. I have my desk set up like this for streaming and everyday work, but I move all the monitors around every time I'm gonna film a Saturday vlog because the room is quite shallow and my lens is not really wide enough to get a good wide shot unless I stick it way in the back. So what I do is these are all on arms and you can kind of very gently, you don't wanna like put pressure on the monitor, but you can move things back and then scooch them around. And then I usually set up the camera right here for the Saturday vlogs. Um, this is the stream camera and that's the one that I film vlogs with. So what else can I show you over here? This is my microphone. You've probably seen this on stream. This is a Rode NT1A. I have smothered it with pop filters because I apparently speak very plosively and can't stop. And then I also usually put it um, underneath my chin, so I'm speaking over it, which helps a little bit. The arm is a Rode PSA-1. This is the most expensive mount that I have, but it was worth it because uh, my, my mic used to just like fall. <laughs> and you know, you spend some money on the mic. You'd rather not do that. The lights are Elgato key lights. Um, I have a few, fair few pieces of Elgato stuff and they did not send me any of it. So I am free to tell you my honest opinion, which is it is pretty good, but for the amount you pay for the stuff, sometimes it's just like a little more finicky than I want it to, but it's usually my fault because I usually need to just like restart the software or something like that. Um, all of the stuff like the stream deck and the lights and the cam link and whatever works better if you um, keep all of their software running and like refresh it every now and then. Anyways, <gasps> let's see. This is my streamer camera. Um, we turn this on here. It should come through OBS. Um, maybe not. Sometimes I have to restart this because again, it's a, <laughs> it's a cam link that is connecting that camera to OBS. So uh, nine things out of 10, I have to turn off and back on again before any time I use them. But there I am and here I am and that's how I stream. Um, that is a Sony RX100 Mark V is the camera. Um, I have that connected to power and also back to the cam link around the front of the computer because I find that's the port that freezes up on me the least. Speakers are Bose speakers. I never use them and really should put them away. They were pretty much just in case I needed to check um, audio syncing on wired speakers as opposed to wireless headphones because on this side is the hook that often falls off my desk because it's cheap adhesive where I hang uh, my headphones. These are my newest pair. These are the Bose 700s. Um, this was another investment, but I really like them because of the noise canceling on them. Um, sometimes it can get noisy outside um, or just in the universe. And it's nice to be able to tune all that out and focus or try to focus on whatever I'm trying to do. Um, I don't wear these for streaming. I only wear them for editing. For streaming, I have a little pair of wireless earbuds so I can just stick one in so I can still hear myself talk so that I don't just scream at you guys. Let's do a little what is on my desk tour. Of course, this is my gamepad. This is a Razer Orb Weaver. I've talked about these before, but that is how I play WoW. Uh, the mouse is a Logitech G600. I love that mouse. And if it ever broke on me, I would buy a new one in an instant. Uh, the keyboard is less important because I do play WoW on the gamepad, but the keyboard is a Logitech G610. Uh, Orion Brown. I like Cherry MX Brown switches. They are just the comfiest and right amount of noise for me. So I use the keyboard primarily just for typing, to be honest with you. Um, I have this desk mat here. This is a just a cheap Amazon desk mat. It's just a giant mouse pad. I thought it would be cute to have like a light colored floral one. I figured it would be pretty. But the truth is I spill tea on this desk more days than not and it ends up getting kind of tea stained. I'm hoping that if I continue to live my life like this, eventually it'll be kind of like an intentional earthy watercolor design, or it just gets like really gross and then I get a dark colored one, which would have been the smart thing to do. Uh, let's see, teapot. There's usually a pot of tea on the desk somewhere. This is just a little tea towel that I can use to wipe up tea after I've spilled it. Um, I keep, let's see, lip balm, nail oil, hand cream on my desk at all times. My uh, nails and lips do get dry. My hands don't. This just smells nice and makes me feel fancy. Um, let's see, pen, journal, bullet journal, I guess you could say. This is where I do most of my planning for what I'm going to do in a day. And then I also have used it to track like goals and other stuff. I'm not like a hardcore bullet journaler. I thought I was going to be when I started, um, but I do at least use it for my daily to-do list, which I used to do on legal pads, so that's something. I am definitely a paper planner. I've tried many, many times to use digital planners and calendars and whatnot, 
And while I do set reminders in my digital stuff so that it can stop me from forgetting things, for actually planning like a to-do list or whatnot, I definitely need paper. Otherwise, in my brain, somehow it didn't happen. Oh yeah, so over here, not quite done, the 360 room tour. Over on this side, we have my whiteboard. Also a little Fabelina art up there. Uh, so the whiteboard is, again, <laughs> physical planning. Uh, on here, I've changed it up over time, but basically I keep videos that are coming up in the corner. Um, we just finished the Level Squish FAQ and I'm filming the office tour now. Um, I have a little pre-stream checklist in the top left. You'd think that I could take that down by now, like I would have learned it or something, but I still forget to turn on the chatbot, so uh, that's a stream checklist. And then current byte, that just means the next thing that I'm gonna do. That has to be something I can do in like one sitting or session or like within an hour basically. If I put something too big and vague up there, it'll never happen. And then I schedule in focus blocks, which is not necessarily just work time, but like at desk, not distracted, like editing or writing time basically. So I'm gonna do some this evening and then one this afternoon before stream. Let's see, down here, this is my uh, baby. Also the discarded leggings, don't mind that. Uh, let's shrink our tripod down here a little bit and have some floor time, shall we? Okay, so this is where I keep my computer. It has not moved since I finished my PC build video. Um, this thing has been so good to me. There was a time period in my channel in the first couple of years where I had a fairly unreliable computer and sometimes it just wouldn't and I would just have to stop streaming and doing videos for a couple of days until I could figure it out. Um, and that was back when I could not afford to just replace something when it broke. So I'm so grateful that I now have a really nice computer that does what I need it to and that it has not complained so far despite the fact that I built it myself and I'm really only okay at that. And then over here we have extra webcam. This is the one that I slap on the pets for the live stream. So that is my office. Uh, I know some of this is a lot. I have taken quite a few years to collect it and I probably don't like need all of it. You definitely don't need all this stuff to do content creation. It's just stuff that's nice to have that you accumulate over time if you uh, have a, a, a tech shopping habit. I am incredibly lucky to have a separate room to be able to kind of set everything up the way I like and work from home from. And I wouldn't be able to do this without you guys. So thank you. And as always, thank you for watching. Uh, stop by a stream sometime to say hi if you like and have a wonderful, wonderful day.